Hello and welcome to episode 24 of our Orton campaign. In the last episode, we did a bunch of expansion. We were in the deep woods here and we took Marhold out. We kicked them out of the deep woods forever. Uh, we do have some separatists and some of their noble rebels that are here, but they should migrate on up. And we are currently sending our troops back in to deal with the rebels and go after our next target, which will be these orcs right here. Uh, over here in Aelin tier, we also did quite a bit of expansion. Uh, I believe we connected this area up in the last episode. We took out Vel's Bacar. We cut Malachnar down to just a couple of provinces. We are starting to uh, consolidate most of our region here. And yeah, we are pretty close to governing cap and we are very high on the old over extension possibilities. Uh, we are completely caught up on tech, actually very caught up on tech. And we have all of our current ideas completed. So we are actually going to probably do some developing, I suppose, with our uh, power that we have. I don't know why we wouldn't, because uh, we have a lot. We have a lot, a lot, a lot. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't think we have anywhere else that I need to develop, but I definitely want to double check. Because um, if I need to develop somewhere, then obviously I'd like to put my points towards that but watching the lovers we should be able to get this we just need to move some uh ships up into that area then isle of storm and shield which we have completed and coast okay so there's no development there the lair doesn't need development you don't need okay i think we're good on the uh development front yeah i think we are not needing to develop anything at least not for a while uh, we've completed the four missions right here. I think, you know, it's a good time to kind of look around, see what's going on. We have a lot of uh, nations, colonial nations, down here in this lower part of the continent. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to go and deal with all of them, as that would be just forever. That would take a long time to do. But we're definitely going to need to take everything up here. Uh, Nimskod having a very strong game. Mavic, one of the minor nations that starts up here. Also in a very good game. Don't think I've ever seen them get large. Laurent is doing okay. I mean, it's kind of bad for a Laurent game, to be fair. Uh, I'm not sure how they can rival us. We, yeah, we have like double their development. So I am not sure how that rivalry works. The only purple, the only purple, the only people that can touch our development is Daz Jelenuk right here, which we'll never interact with, and the command, which we will also never interact with. But they are well on their way to getting that military hegemony, which is a little bit scary. Not going to lie. Uh, mates Separatists, where are those guys? Probably down south, yeah. Do you have troops? Yes, we are currently sending troops over to deal with the rebels. Uh, humans, we will get that small tolerance increase, no problem. We can invest in technology, military, gain innovativeness, and get the tech early. Sure. You know what? Yeah. Why not? We can afford it. Uh, and we can then upgrade our cannons, which is very, very important. You are stuck. You're in Everthil's land. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a lot of unrest in this region. So these two armies are going to need to chill there. What's going on here? Why do you have 1.2? Ah, because you have adventurers wanted. Well, hopefully they uh, they deal with them. Hopefully they deal with them. I would like to start revoking some of these. Private trade fleets. End of commerce. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. And... Yeah, you're very loyal because I finished Religious Ideas, so we'll take that privilege away as well. I'll keep the Monarch points for now and let our Absolutism tick up to 65. I think that makes sense to me. Um, today, yes, I sent 70,000... 70,000 might be a bit overkill. 70,000 troops up here because we are going to go after Moonhaven Delaire for a show superiority war. Again, uh, colonial nations can, or uh, overlord nations cannot join their colonial nations when you declare as a new world nation. So we can take them out whenever we want to. Uh, sure. Tolerance decrease of Ruinborn doesn't really bother me because, well, that's our primary culture, so 
can't really do much. You can't get lower uh, than integrated on your primary culture, I think. If I'm wrong about that, though, please let me know. That is good information to have. <laughs> yeah, those guys, that one hurt. That one hurt. Uh, let's send half of these troops over here. We want to take this land before Verkul Khanzad can. Preferably. Because the less we have to take off of Verkul Khanzad, the better. Okay, I did not realize they had that many troops. Uh, yeah, that's a stack wipe. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, yeah, they have a war wizard too. That'll definitely hurt. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and embrace manufactories. Uh, we do not need to take admin tech yet. Good there. Yeah, you can't just stack wipe my troops and get away with it. You have to die for that. Sorry. Also, I have my heavy fleet up here. Let's stop them from moving over. Hello. Oh my goodness, okay. They are still hurting very badly. Uh, why is that? Because they have 122 discipline. Right, because they're elves. That makes sense. Yeah, we lost way more than they did. Uh, but that's okay. We... Goodness. They're everywhere. Oh, our troops down here got stack wiped too. What? That's surprising. I I knew they'd take big losses, but I didn't think that they would get stack wiped. Ooh, interesting. Okay. <clears throat> well, we're going to need to replace them. So let's go ahead and build up uh, I don't know. 10? 10. 20. And then some cannons. We can afford it, so. Go ahead and do that. Make a good size stack down here to help out with the rebel fighting. Okay, you are in position, so let's go ahead and declare war. Holy war. Try and catch their troops out. Uh, you go and siege there. You go kill those rebels, please. I do need to keep a close eye on this war. Definitely need to keep a close eye. Uh, and we should be able to fully annex them, if I'm correct. Because they are simply a colonial nation. There's a lot of low development here. And I do want everything. I don't think we have to worry about a coalition much. Uh, a little bit, but I don't care. <laughs> what are they going to do? Yeah, I definitely think we want to go full annexation. Wow, 105 AE. Yeah, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. Does not bother me. Yeah, even though we do have really, really strong troops, elves still hurt. They still hurt very badly. They always will. Uh, let's send our navy up. Let's make sure we throw an admiral of some kind on there. Let's bring these transport ships onto this island to try and complete that mission. You are going over there. Perfect. Then all of these start to meet up in case these 8k decide to walk over. That way they don't wipe out one of our troops. Uh, it seems they have slipped past us, unfortunately. Okay. We will send in these 14,000 to deal with them. Should we get both of those unseized? That way we can actually pour some provinces. Nice! We have sunk the flagship of uh, Moonhaver, Moonhavener Delary. All right, so we're gonna send these 10,000 troops up to siege down these islands. Uh, you're gonna hold there because I don't want you to engage with that army without the proper support. And yes, we can in fact complete the mission to deal with the ships. So let's scroll on back up and watching the lovers. As far as the eye scans, churning seas separate us from the lands to the south. To the east is not but desolate deserts and wild jungles. These lands will certainly be reclaimed for Ordent and the Precursors, but of far more importance are the seas themselves. For on the Eastern Sea is the Ruined Sea, part of the Alentir and, and Locus of the Foreign Thievery. And to the south has been revealed a darkened Isle of Soot, the artificers of Haraf but children, compared to the Vanbury Guild who squat on Tor Nae. We must guard our lands against these threats. Our ships will patrol the Lover's Pass, watched by the garrison on Lonely, our Poleo. Interesting. We gain permanent claims on this island right here, which we already went and took over. We now have Isle of Steel and Smoke. 
Barring the horizon with black smog from their furnaces, the Vanbury Guild has despoiled Tornai and their quest to steal the Precursor's knowledge. They stop at nothing to uncover their secrets, tormenting our ruin-born brethren, tearing down the forest for fuel, and even have forayed into our realm to steal from us. There are few who disgust us more, nay, few more evil than these men of steel and smoke. We will not abide this destruction of Alentir. Tear their forges and laboratories down until the coal piles are reclaimed by nature. Wow, okay. 20 prestige, 50 admin, diplo, and military points. 75 devastation in Ilar Coast. And it loses some development. And for 100 years, we gain minus 0.01 war exhaustion, minus 0.5% prestige decay, and plus one tolerance of the true faith. And now I just need to start moving into this region, which is why I have built a spy work on Xanlib. When steel maps of uh, Reaper Coast, roll on down to where they are. Coast, uh, six provinces. Yeah, just do it. That shows us all of uh, Esho Shanta's provinces, and we can see all of them as well. Are you allied to the one? That is good. Good news. I have not let time pass very far. <laughs> You having to pause to deal with things. Let's continue to convert Yin River, that's fine. Over here, I need to make sure these guys do not try and teleport away. I know that's what they're planning on doing. Uh, let's switch over the 4 to 4 general. Hit them hard. Yeah. Okay, stack wipe. And now we just wait. That's all we can do. You look here, that's their entire country. We have them fully occupied. Uh, their ally is way down here in the Serpent Spine. We are not going to get the maps for that. That is just simply not going to happen. We're going to have to wait. Oh. Never mind. They do have one province outside the uh, Deep Woods. Cool. Well, that makes that war much easier. Am I missing something? Nope. Good. Thanks. Fine. Uh, Coral? That completes the mission for the Deep Woods. Scroll on down here. Obscuring Shadows. Truly the darkest corner of the Deep Woods, where scarcely does the sun even glance the canopy of the forest, the glade of gold hosts shadows darker than what can be seen. The elves of gold have long been known to be secretive and practice macabre rituals in secret to the unseelie who have granted them dark boons. But now the forest of gold lies under orcish hands who skulk in the dark with the same ease as they did within the great mountains around. The Fey Lords of the Domendrad, Seelie, and Unseelie alike urge us to reclaim the Shadowed Woods so that the Orcs may not inherit the dark boons of their elven predecessors. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to assume that we might get some Ruinborn minority size in a couple provinces. Just a couple of them, though. Uh, I don't think they want to overdo it here, so... Yeah, okay. Now we need Tranquil Waters, which means we have to colonize this one province, which we're able to do momentarily. Uh, should we have some more Ruinborn? Yes, perfect. This, I need to be expelling goblins and orcs. Fine, and then yes, True Servants of the Fey, I need to own all provinces in the Deep Woods. It does, in fact, include Vrokul Coes and Ad's land. That's what we would call not poggers. <laughs> I do not want to fight the dwarves. The dwarves are not easy to fight. They are very strong. But uh, we do what we must for the fey, I suppose. But going into this campaign, I didn't think that we were going to be so aligned with the fey. I thought that the like diverging um, seasonal variants were like against the fey, but I was very wrong. Uh, that's just simply not true. They are very much for the fey. They just disagree on how to worship them correctly, I guess, with the, uh, the way to bribe it. Which, I mean, okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, you're gonna die if you stay here. They are coming for you. Let's send this 24,000 down to intercept. You guys can continue towards. i move here. More separatists in the deep woods. Quite a few separatists, that's fine. Send you in. How many generals can I have? I think I'm at max. 
I am unfortunately at max, but I don't need these two. So let's put that 0, 3, 2. Just to make sure we have some kind of general. Uh, as it's never a good idea to send your troops in without a general at any point. I don't know if I've ever experienced a time where no general was better than a general. Even if it's just one one maneuver pip, it's, uh, it's worth it, as that can be the make or break of a battle. Alright, yes, let's go in here. We're going to stack wipe. Perfect. Try and chase them down. What are we attacking into here? Attacking into forests? Uh, that's our air, so let's hope he does well. Well, I would definitely say that's doing well. Yeah. Stack wipes are, are okay, I guess, if you're into that kind of thing, and I definitely am. Uh, I'm a sucker for stack wipes, as long as it's not me getting stack wiped. That is not good. <laughs> Do not enjoy getting stack wiped. Not a great feeling. Uh, we need to build lots of courthouses, as that is going to be our most effective way of combating the governing cap that we have met. Alright, once we can take this, then we can start to uh, colonize this one province. We'll fix a lot of our issues. Uh, though I'm not in a rush to take it necessarily, I'd rather wait until it's not more expensive. That way, uh, I'm not wasting admin points because it will take admin points to do it. So I definitely want to have as much as possible. That way I can just vault right into uh, completing it. Send you over, and we can also send our ships over. That way we can pick them up and heal with these guys right here. Being somewhat annoying. You're being dealt with. Uh, you... I send the 6k all the way down, and then I'm going to split up into two smaller groups here. My plan, or I hope at least, is that this means that... I catch any of these one stacks that are being built, they can't build up into a stronger army. Armies are too scared to engage enemies. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Let's get them some reinforcements. That way they can uh, go ahead and attack. Yep, you should be good to go now. Uh, you moved again, as rebels always tend to do. Take your armies, move towards them, and then they, they instantly just sprint to the next province over. Which, I mean, like, yeah. Makes sense. I would probably do the same thing. But, not very cool. Not very cool at all. Alright, uh, full annexation? Sure. Thanks. That's 403 <laughs> admin point. So, definitely not an insignificant amount. Now it's just for two in the lair, which we actually do not... Have a truce with... Uh-oh! That sounds bad for your health. That sounds very bad for your health. How many troops do you have? 19,000? Okay. Uh, let's leave... 2k up here. Use down all these little... Actually, no. We'll leave 5k. Use down all these islands. Bring you down. You all get together. And you come down, and then we will instantly attack Truinic Delaire. That will be another mission completed. Fun fact for you. What? Just... Huh? Gained a core somewhere. I don't know. Someone just gained a core. Some rebel just gained a core. But I don't know where. I'm not seeing any other of my... Things occupied, so... Oh well. Uh, check the unrest here. Yes. Counter both of these. Oh boy. We also need to go to war with the uh, Obsidian Legion here. Who has 92,000 troops. And both their allies will now join. Yeah, we're gonna need more troops. We are going to need more troops. How are we feeling about that? We're feeling good about that. We're feeling great. Let's, uh... Let's see. 15... 24,000 cannons currently in the deep woods. We need to get up to 36. So, what did I say it was? I already forgot. 15, 26. 31, 4, 5, right? Yeah, something like that. And then we just build a bunch of, bunch of armies. Because this is where our difficult wars are going to be. I just need troops here for rebel hunting and, you know, walking across entire continents to try and take out 
3k stacks so we can actually get out of wars uh, in a decent time. Let's go ahead and send our boats. Actually, I don't think we need to send our boats up to steal this map. Go ahead and steal maps of the Trolls Bay area. Roll on down. Ah, no, I do need to send my ships up. Okay, so let's send you guys up there. That way we can steal those maps because we will then be adjacent. And Tritunic Delaire, I'm sorry. Uh, you gotta go. The Fae have decided. It's just not, it's not on me. It's on you. <laughs> kind of rude, but... Uh, ooh, do I just want to steal these maps to make this war? Oh, it's right here. This is where they got cores. No one has a core on this province. What? That's... How? Huh? How does no one have a core on these two provinces? I didn't know that could even happen. Uh, Ambinar, explain. Explain. What the heck? But sure, you can have access. I don't care. Uh, let's steal that map from down here. Just make the war up north a little bit more of a pain, but... And we'll keep stealing maps, because I want this. Well, want it all, we want it all. Uh, how much are we paying in interest? Two, five ducats. Yeah, what we pay. Alright, and those rebels are taken care of. That's what you get. We have avenged the 10,000 troops that were unfortunately stack-wiped down here on this uh, burnt-out island. Right, back to a lack of jewelry. Well, why? Why do people not want jewelry anymore? What happened? People just, uh, they don't want to look fancy, I guess? I don't know. Alright, move in. This war, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And we'll watch as our income absolutely tanks as we build a bunch more troops. <laughs> But it must be done. Also, let's just engage this army. I think we'll be okay. Ah, uh, high losses. But we have plenty of manpower for right now. Follow him, please. Get the stack wipe. What up? Okay. Please don't make me go and uh, sit down some of these islands. That would be very annoying. Uh, what I am going to need to do is move these boats back. Bring you all together. Transport you to the the mainland and then we are going to have to bring our transports up here to deal with rebels um yeah i guess we extend you out to here for now we'll get rid of that in a moment but all the rest of our armies up here are currently busy you come on over i know that you guys have been here for a long time <laughs> uh yeah like a very long time okay, you guys are moving in Operation with the merchant class, thank you. I will gladly take trade efficiency anytime someone wants to hand it to me. Go ahead and convert. Uh, we are reaching the cap on military points. Okay. That means we simply develop them on up. Development and click the buttons. Good. Alright, look at that. Let's also uh, hire a couple generals. We have some really good army tradition right now. And unfortunately, we didn't get great rolls. That six shock is uh, nice, but not worth keeping. Seven pips is, I don't know, I think the least amount we could have gotten. Uh, I forgot where to check. Right here? Yeah, okay, it's not the least amount, it's the second least amount. Another one? Buy a bunch. Wow, those were just really bad rolls. Really bad rolls. For what we've got. Okay. Um, we can go ahead and fire you and you. We actually got some decent siege. I, I shouldn't be so greedy. We got some decent siege generals out of that. And then we'll fire... Um, yeah, you. Alright, I think our troops over here have been built. Yes, so let's not take, you know ungodly amounts of attrition that would probably be the best thing for us to do put them on up there we go now we have a real looking army 
over in this area. Again, from Obsidian Legion, all we need is one province. But I think we, we build a spy network to seal maps of in here. And that way we can finish the war in a decent chunk of time. Uh, and as long as we don't cap out on power, then I will simply save it. Uh, you are running away. We'll send those troops to Kudu. Everyone else needs to be sieging down and uncovering uh, provinces. Then yeah, we're going to have to deal with lots and lots of rebels. Lots and lots of rebels. There we go. That is a stack wipe. And that is the end of Trinic Delaire. To uncover the last couple of provinces, that way I can actually click them in the peace deal. Let's see, make sure we grab all these little islands for the full annexation. Yeah, just... Oh, I can click them. Ha ha ha! I... Nope, that's full annexation. They are willing to give it 460 ducats. Well, rent could join a coalition. Don't care. Yeah. Don't care. I do need to go to war with Laurent at some point for uh, these three provinces. I don't know if I need them for the mission tree, but I want them. Because <laughs> I don't want the disgusting Laurentish to be holding land right here. No, thank you. That does complete another mission. The Winds of Magic. Every step towards Delaire heightens the raw magical potential and corruption latent in the land. There are still inhab inhabitable lands north of where Delaire was situated, constantly buffeted by magical winds from the great glaciated plateau. So close to such a great site of power has excited our mages, eager to explore this land. So too are others drawn to the old wasteland and the milder land, drawn by both lures of precursor riches and the rumors of gold in the mountains. We cannot afford to let an expedition set forth while we cannot guarantee their safety against rival bands. The borders of Delaire must be secured for a former camp. I mean, I think that counts as secure. Like, we took the entire region. Look, the ice stuff, this big glacier, it's our color, which means we own it, right? That's how that works. And we started constructing a mage tower for half cost. Now, Tainted Winter. That needs to have a mage tower. And now, I need to own that one province. Okay, well, once that truce is up, we can get it. Uh, is this where the mage tower is being built? No, it is not. Go ahead and get that going. Uh, so for anybody that doesn't know, this is all like a glacier. It's like a big old glacier. Look here. Now, I do believe there is content planned for this region. Perhaps, I think I heard rumors of uh, evil gnomes that live in here somewhere. That are left over from the gnomish hierarchy at the height of their power. Which should be pretty cool. Uh, but for now, it is completely useless to it. So, uh, it does help us control the Delaire trade node, obviously. Which we need to start, um, taking care of. I need to probably go through off-camera and create some trade companies to get enough merchants. Uh, I don't know how exciting that is to watch someone do. You're just kind of flicking around looking for the best opportunity. But it is something we need to do because our economy uh, be able to support more merchants because right now we're wasting a lot of trade. A lot of trade. Hello? How dare you? How dare you assume you can call me into a... Also, I really don't think you need my help for this. Like... I guess you do. Why do you have 28,000 artillery, 12,000 infantry? What are you... The AI will never cease to amaze me. Why? Why would you do that? It's just bad. Um, okay, let's just send, like, 36,000 troops up. Throw a general on them. Go win the war for our ally. Easy enough. Free favors, I guess. Uh, okay. Truces, truces, truces. With the green nation right there, we have a while. 1881. Do you have any tributary? You do Isobelin. Isobelin. Well, that's you, right? Yeah. Allied with Everthil? Who won't join. That's good. Everthil an easy pick right now? Uh, Vern. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh... 
well, we are currently uh, at the 30-ish minute mark, so we won't start a war. But next time, we're going to go with Isabella, and we're going to take this province off of Everthil. We're going to white piece these guys out so we can go to war with them sooner. And we're going to start moving into this region. And, yeah, we're probably going to go to war with either Vorko Kozanad or with the Obsidian Legion. Just depends on who is looking way oh boy Syrian. Not feeling good right now. So uh, perhaps we'll have to take advantage of that. But that is all the time that I have for today. I would like to thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.